And this one I really like because it came down to exactly two Seekers. Sometimes that's all it takes, even on your boss fight to diamond, you never give up. Five ER versus six ER, two Seekers left. Boom! Goes the dynamite. <laughs> MVP Seekers. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and yes, good evening, Skull Army and friends. Uh, Skull Crusher here. It is Thursday, March the 10th, 2022, and yes, we're coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. And Skull Army, in today's video, we're talking Diamond Rank 5 ER Seeker gameplay. Let's do this. <laughs> Now, what I like most about Seekers is how dominant they are. It can be risky, it can be a little bit of a learning curve when you are starting off with them, but the risk will pay off when you do get the attack down. And when it comes to Seekers, it comes down to a few things. Number one, scouting properly. Use your scout time accordingly and look for those shock mines. Number two, use your gunboat energy on those shock mines. And then number three, depending on which hero you are using, Brick, you definitely want to send Brick in first with the Brick ability being Iron Will and Bullet being the MVP when it comes to Seekers using that taunt when you can position him in such key strategic points on the layout. And also, Smoke does come in handy when it comes to the Seekers as well. So before we do go into the Log School Army, I do want to show you uh, the uh, tech tree here, and especially due to the fact that we have recently just picked up the brush. Ironically, we have maxed it, even though we're not actually using it to bard out uh, in an engine room. We might have one of the attacks. We've barred out an engine room, but we are using Using the barrage still uh the max barrage to clear shock mines now the artillery has been clutch for a while now once again that is coming in handy for clearing the uh, shock mines here once again we do have that smoke at tick two just because i want to give myself that additional second smoke at nine seconds does try to give me if we time it right with the shock mine that one additional second if the seekers hit the shock mine when the smoke drops you do get that additional second there so i like trying to time it accordingly i do find that a tick two smoke works perfectly with max level shock mines now my hero of choice has been Sergeant Brick. She has been the MVP for me, absolutely dominating for ER. Uh, I would love uh, to get Bullet, but unfortunately, uh, once we do get to 6 ER, we probably will take the path of the Rocket Chopper and make our way over to Private a Bullet. But for now, Brick has been owning it for me for Diamond Rank 5 ER Seeker gameplay. We are looking at 7 and 3. Absolutely beautiful, especially holding our own in Diamond Rank right now. Uh, we're going to start things off here with our Chinese character friend. This was a beautiful free. 23 to 251. Now, as we start this attack off, I want you to pay attention. Notice the fact that we are dropping those artillery. We're clearing our necessary shock mines. We've used our scout time accordingly. Now, after realizing that there wasn't too many shock mines to worry about, we used a smoke to give our seekers the coverage with Brick's assistance and Iron Whale. Beautiful split there with the seekers going right and left. One last shock mine. Beautiful job dodging it. And boom goes the dynamite. So we're going to go back and slow that attack down just a little bit more to kind of give you just a little bit more of an insight of exactly what happened here. So as the attack does start, you can see the artillery coming out here. And artillery number one and artillery number two. Ooh, absolute clutch right there. So by the mortar and the flamethrower, and of course by the cannon up top, just not just to be on the safe side. You never know. Some of those seekers can take a wild split at times. And as we do continue, we have artillery number three coming out, clearing that hidden shock mine right behind the ER. We thought there was a shock mine behind the sniper there, but just to be on the safe side, there wasn't. So better to play it safe here. And then of course the attack does continue with flaring brick. We did drop one boat of seekers first. That's almost like our uh, expendable boat of uh, seekers dropping them first and making sure that in case we missed any shock mines hopefully that first uh, that hopefully that first boat will hit them first beautiful hit right there <laughs> And of course, as we continue here, we do have a Hill uh, W13. This was 311 uh, to 305. Now, I love these layouts for the Seekers here. Now, we're going to keep this one at times one here. So you can see the artillery coming out on the left side and the right side here. So we do start off on that left side with that artillery and a three smoke drop. Pretty much the time our Seeker synchronization attack, as soon as that smoke expires, going back to the right side of the ramp there, you can see not one, not two, but three artillery coming out with that first boat of Seekers being dropped. And of course, Brick with the, the remainder, I believe it is 
four boats after that because it's three boats on the left and then five on the right with one boat being dropped brick and then the last four excellent job here managing our gumboat energy i'm a little bit worried a little bit worried here on the left side here as you can see those seekers were struggling and we still had that er in the middle there as well but beautiful split from those two er's on the right side getting that er in the middle and i think we did actually need the assistance of an artillery to finish that off yes we did and sometimes that's all it takes boom goes the dynamite and as we do continue and progress forward here, massive, massive shout out to a blue tick hound here. Uh, this was 310, so we're going to keep this one at times two. This one I liked. We did a full drop from that left ramp there. You can see two artillery coming out, clearing shock mines directly behind, I believe, uh, the boom cannon and the statue there, the trophy. A couple more shock mines, sorry, a couple more artillery coming out, clearing those shock mines on the far right side there. And this was just beautiful transition from ER to ER, cycling our shocks accordingly, knowing that we had cleared the necessary shock mines and just like that, it, it, it's a work of art when you just watch it so effortlessly in the replay. And as we do continue after that last battle here, I do want to give a big shout out to Boom Boy here. Boom Boy did fizzle on our attack here. I can't exactly remember what time we did get, but this was another one of those two on the left, two on the right, and one in the middle here. And once again, just taking our time scouting there, using those three artillery on the left side, clearing the necessary shock mines, dropping that three boats of Seekers with the three smoke drop, beautiful synchronization onto that right side ramp. Notice that first boat drop with Brick, the late four boats after that, with the assistance of our Iron Will as we drop a smoke coverage to get that split with the remaining Seekers from the right going directly to the middle, and boom, goes the dynamite. Absolute clutch, guys. And this guy, this guy, I want to give a massive, massive shout out here. Uh, big shout out to Zeus here. This was actually my boss fight, my, my re- Re boss fight to uh, Diamond here. Uh, this was 312 uh, to 259 here. Now, Zeus was a 6 ER, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I almost took the full minute scouting here, uh, but nonetheless, we were able to pull it off. So, as we do go into the replay, so this one I like here. We're actually going to bring this one down to times. Well, slow. Because I want you to see those artillery coming out here. There was actually a shock mine. There we go. Three shock mines on the uh, right side there with a couple. I believe one of the boom mines be cleared as well nothing to worry about with the grappler and the seekers in this i wanted a, a four boats essentially on the right side and then four boats on the left side and you can see we did draw a brick first we have a flare up with a beautiful split of those seekers from the middle there knowing that they would continue on that right side cycling a shock pinning down the machine gun and the flame thrower we do activate that iron will uh, back on the left side there easy easy transition to that first engine room little little worried on that right side as we do take some casualties but nothing to worry about as we cycle a shock to pin down the immediate threat being the flamethrower there back to the left side there excellent job look how many seekers we have left look at that split right there right side er is going down then we just have two to worry about on the left side there as the seekers are still under the protection of iron will we threw an artillery there to clear the shock line to get that top left engine room brick now is useless she's spinning she's expendable she's done her job seekers now have one er left to go i believe we did toss an artillery at the closest shock mine to the engine room here just to be on the safe side knowing that we wouldn't have enough time with the seekers hitting that first shock mine and that was our insurance there getting the second one and just like that more than enough seekers and this one i really like because it came down to exactly two seekers sometimes that's all it takes even on your boss fight to dime in you never give up five er versus six er two seekers left boom goes the dynamite <laughs> mvp seekers Big shout out to you, Zeus. And then, of course, we did lose to a Machani's character friend here. Uh, and then, of course, we do have maybe later over here. Big shout out to you, maybe later OG, former Sugar Shipper back in the day here. This was another incredible secret time with 316. And once again, I when I see these layouts, I just absolutely love it here. So once again, look at that left side there. We've got, I believe, three artillery coming out, clearing the necessary shock mines. We drop the Seekers, three boats under the uh, protection of a two-smoke drop. Now we've got the Barrage. Barrage is amazing. That's saving me and managing Gumboat Energy so much more efficiently. You can see how we used the barrage to clear the shock mines. We got Brick with the Iron Will. It was that, that first Seeker drop, then Brick, then the four remaining boats. Beautiful job cycling the shocks here as we have that transition split from the right side to that mid ER. Beautiful takedown. And of course, as we do progress and continue here after maybe later, massive shout out to the Flash. I honestly, I should know whose mini this is. And as we do finish off with the last attack here, we did actually fizzle and leave one engine room, but Hung ML uh, did fall into the right ramp trap here. So we're gonna show you my replay and then we'll, we'll show you Hung ML's right after here. So this one, uh, this one I like here. So notice how we're actually dropping the barrage there uh, to clear that top right engine room. Then we got Brick with a full seeker drop here on that left ramp. And I think I, at this point, 
point during the attack, I, I think I thought I dropped that top right engine room. Notice how it is still actually standing there. Um, it wasn't until uh, at this point I realized that it was still there. So realizing that the attack was going to fizzle, whatever GBE I had left, I had to use that for artillery. Luckily, we had enough just for one more to be on the safe side. Uh, but the opponent did fizzle. Boom! Goes the dynamite. And then, of course, here I want to show you the trap of the layout here when the opponents do fall into it here. So we're going to show you Hung ML's replay. And this one was fun. I did have a good time going back and watching this. So you can see the flare up top there. So this was actually Brick and the Seekers here. It doesn't get any better than this here. No managing. So this is already going against, you know, what you should be doing with Seekers. So, you know, it looks like no proper scouting. You know, didn't use the gumboat energy to clear the shock mines. I'm assuming that Hung ML does have gumboat energy to clear the shock mines there, but just instantly falling apart there. So so remember guys you gotta scout accordingly you gotta use your gunboat energy artillery barrage to clear those shock mines you gotta use your hero ability to your advantage and of course you've got to use smoke as well you put it all together you've got yourself beautiful beautiful seeker attacks straight up work of art my friends uh skull army so all right guys if you have made it this far into the video uh do not forget to leave a like do not also forget to grab a stick of dynamite and light that set stick of a dynamite and then remember go run over that subscribe button Button, place that light set stick of dynamite beside the subscribe button now you got time run away and that's right blow up the subscribe button uh, 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 skull army and uh, friends we will officially be wrapping up today's video uh now i think it's time to make like a tom what's up tom uh, and cruise peace <laughs>